guys and welcome back to the kingdom. I hope you guys have had positive and productive weeks this week. So this week I'm going to show you guys how I made over Sea Witch Rising by Sarah Henning. So uh, I'm going to show you guys the back first because I haven't done anything on the back. As you guys can see this is naturally a beautiful rich purple colour. I think you can see a little bit of light reflection from where, from where I sprayed it to protect the cover and make sure the stencils went on really well. Um, but that's only in like seriously direct light and I do have a ring light behind me so you wouldn't normally be able to see that sort of shimmer. So here we go. On the front we have a sea witch tentacle design which um, I love. I also love how metallic it is. The bronze really just stands out against that rich deep purple cover. And on the edge, we went again with the bronze and purple. So this tentacle design is exactly the same as the one that I put on Sea Witch Rising. Obviously, that's got a shimmer to it, whereas the purple on here is more matte. Um, and I do kind of like that. Um, then we've got mermaid tails on the top and bottom, again, in that metallic bronze colour. So when I posted uh, the Sea Witch sprayed edge that I did on Instagram, Sarah Henning actually saw it um, on Instagram and she uh, messaged me being like, this is really cool. And my mind was absolutely blown because it, like it's one thing when like an author sees what I've done or likes it like my entire insides just start bubbling like a maniac but to actually have an author reach out and be like actively say I like it it just makes everything feel really surreal and excited and we ended up talking about designs um and she was the one who suggested that I put the mermaids on the end because I wanted it to to be similar but not the same because obviously the story is very different um, but I still wanted them to be linked so she was the one who suggested that I put the uh, mermaid tails at the tips um, but yeah um, I ho really hope she likes this one as well because she hasn't seen it yet because I haven't put it on Instagram yet so we'll see. <laughs> anyway without any more wittering from me let's jump into the time lapse and you can see what I've done.
Okay, so that was uh, how I did it. So let's get a final look. Let's get another look at the final product. So we've got this outline of a sea witch, again in that lovely metallic bronze to match this beautiful spine right here. Then we've got the tentacles and the mermaid tail. I really love how well this has come out. I've already fanned it, so it's all nice and ready to go if I ever want to reread it. Um, and I really enjoyed being able to work with that sort of sea witch tentacle theme because it is not very often that you get to play with that kind of theme, that sea tentacle, sea witch vibe. So this book was fantastic for that kind of inspiration and being able to put that on a book and play with it. Like from the minute I read Sea Witch, I had this kind of image in my head. And then when I saw Sea Witch rising in this beautiful purple color and I, th with the bronze, it just all snapped into place, like what I had to do and how it had to look. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this book makeover video. I don't know which book I'll be making over next. I don't know when this one will actually go up is another thing as well. One of the things I've got brewing right now is that I have tried to recreate the Starless Sea Waterstones edition. So that's including the gold patterns on the front and the spine and the back, including the very, very intricate um, pattern on the sprayed edges. Like it's all incredibly intricate. So recreating it is not gonna go exactly, but I have tried my best. Um, I just thought that it's so beautiful, that design. So that's something that's either coming or will have already gone up. Another thing that I'm doing is I'm going to be doing these Violent Delights, which is my new number one. Oh my gosh, it's brilliant. It's, it's amazing, but it's not, it's also not been without its challenges, um, which I will also explain to you another time. I also have two very conflicting ideas for these Violent Delights. So I may just have to buy another copy, paint both and see which ones you enjoy more. I don't know. <laughs> you guys can you guys can uh, tell me what you think about that. I also have a plan to electrify another book. So as you guys can see, Annie LaRue is out behind me, which is my first ever electrified book. I have a plan to make another electrified book. You guys will already know if you watched my packing up video, but it is A Court of Mist and Fury. I plan on electrifying it. Uh, I'm still waiting for some of the pieces to arrive. I've ordered some epoxy pieces. Um, so yeah, this is all going to be really, really fun. I can't wait. I'm literally i am so excited after that i don't know this is my uh, unread pile i'm interested in doing kingdom of the wicked and a deadly education anyway that's all from me this week i hope you enjoyed it if you have please thumbs up subscribe comment all of the engagement really really helps uh, and i find it so motivating to keep producing videos i hope you guys have positive and productive weeks and i will see you next time bye